DSM Living with Wendy Wen, Melanie Hall, and Sharon Rooney. Good morning and welcome to DSM Living. I'm Melanie Hall and today we have a great show in store for you. 2014 is a year of healthy living, and that's why we're here at the YMCA's Healthy Living Center in Clive. This newly remodeled kitchen by Kaufman Construction and Design Build is a reflection of the homeowner's personality, and you're going to get to know her personality because she's going to take us through. Coming up, we are going to talk with Des Moines' newest music sensation, Max Jury. He's smoldering, sexy, and soulful. He is the real deal uplifting and maybe a little creepy and crazy yet totally relatable it's one flew over the cuckoo's nest at the des moines playhouse up next we're going to talk to fidelity bank senior vice president rick davis about the three r home loan one flew over the cuckoo's nest at the des moines playhouse is uplifting powerful and maybe a little crazy huh a little bit yeah we, we think so <laughs> so Brian, tell us about this show well, it's based on a novel written by Ken Casey in the early 60s, and of course everybody knows about the Jack Nicholson movie mm -hmm. that was in, uh, in 75. The main theme has to do with a, man, a small man against a big machine, against a society that oppresses him. Well, where are we at here? I'm feeling it's kind of intense with the bars. We're, and we're, the... <laughs> we're, sitting, we're sitting actually in an area that is, that is an offstage ambient area where most of the people that are inmates are here when they're not on stage. This is the, this is the institution dormitory. The, the whole approach we took to this was, uh, was an organic approach. In other words, the way they interrelate with, with each other is largely actor created. Uh, what that does is that means the ensemble of the pieces is, is really strong because they trust each other on stage and they trust each other as characters. Sounds good. Well, what is it going to take for us to get out of here? <laughs> uh, I think we have to call the jail. Oh, sounds good. Well, thanks so much, Ron. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Kelly, it is so fun to be here on the set. Does this make you want to break into character? It does. I think everyone needs to sit up a little straighter, pay more attention. So what character do you play? Uh, well, I am fortunate enough to play Nurse Ratched in and the show. What is she like? Well, she is very prim, very proper. She expects uh, discipline out of everyone, and she wants things exactly her way, and she wants to be in complete control of everything that's happening. Do you have any favorite lines from the show? One of the things I just love to say is Ratchet is uh, she often just comes into the room and says, that's fine, boys. And you know <laughs> that when she's saying that, it had better be fine. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Kelly. I'm sure the show is going to be fantastic and break a leg. Well, thank you. Hey, Tim. Hi. How are you? I'm good. So we're here in a hospital bed today, huh? Yeah, we are. But I'm not sick, I promise. <laughs> so what's going on? You have a very interesting role in this play because you I are do. a character and yes. you are also the set designer. Yes, um, and it's quite a character too. Let's I mean, talk about him. Not the set designer, <laughs> the character in the show. Although the set designer is kind of a character. Um, but uh, which do you want to talk about first, the set or the character? The character. Okay. Um, his name is Randall P. McMurphy and um, he's kind of a reluctant hero. Uh, he's not necessarily the nicest guy in the world. He's kind of a blowhard, a little bit of a bully, doesn't mind a bar fight every once in a while. I kind of relate to him a little bit. <laughs> um, you know, but in the end, he finds that for the first time in his life, he can make a difference. I think the interesting thing about McMurphy is, and the play, is that I think how very close we all are to being just a little bit crazy. crazy. <laughs> you know, that, that, that line there, but for the grace of God go I, is, is really true. And I think this, this show points it out that all of us, just one misstep here or one misstep there, could certainly be in the position of any of these people. So let's switch the hat now to okay. the set designer. Uh, you have done a really good job because it feels clinical, but it doesn't feel like so sterile and cold. I mean, how did you do that? Well, and we really wanted that. We didn't want it white. We wanted there to be, even though we're kind of in white right now. <laughs> On the hospital um, bed. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted there to be a lot of texture. The set for the show really almost takes over the space. There's beams that come out into the audience. There's a, a floor that kind of eats into the audience and then falls away. And all of that will really hopefully feel like this machine that's coming at the audience. 
Leanne, Cuckoo is captivating, huh? It is. How can people get tickets to the show? They can go online at dmplayhouse.com, choose their own seats. They can give us a call at 515-277-6261, or of course, come here to the Playhouse. Sounds good, and how is the construction coming along? You know what, it's going along great. We'll have a new lobby by the next show you come see. Perfect, thanks Leanne. You're welcome. Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind the scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. The Healthy Living Center in Clive is incredibly stunning, absolutely unique, and all about comprehensive fitness and wellness. Vernon, tell us about the healthy living approach here. Well, the, the Healthy Living Center is all about chronic disease prevention. As you know, our nation is really facing a health crisis. There's a tremendous uh, increase in obesity and obesity-related illnesses, uh, diabetes, cancer, and what our job is here, what we try and do here is try and uh, impact that and move the needle a little bit in terms of preventing those kinds of chronic diseases. Well, this facility is absolutely incredible, but the Y has so many programs. So tell us about some of the programs that the Y offers. Yeah, well, that's correct. We have three things we focus on, youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. And we have programs from very young children uh, up to senior citizens, as you see many of them in this facility here today. I say, it, you know, the reality is uh, it doesn't matter which program you participate in as much as that you get up and you do something and you stay active. Absolutely. Well, speaking about getting people involved, you guys have an annual campaign going on now, is that correct? That's correct. One out of four people we serve here in Des Moines is on some type of financial assistance to be able to participate in the Y. Uh, last year we helped 22,000 people that benefited from our annual campaign. Now the annual campaign's motto is, it's, it's, there's so much more. Yeah. What does that motto mean and how did you guys come up with that? Well, you know, uh, th that's a great question. And we say that because across the country, two out of three people in the United States have participated in the Y in their lifetime in some way. But they know the Y from what they may have participated in and don't realize that we do have so much more. They don't realize that we have programs for people with cancer. They don't realize that we operate a homeless shelter in downtown Des Moines. Uh, and so we, we want to use that theme so that people will ask the question, well, tell me what, what is so much more? And that gives us an opportunity to share that with them. Vernon, I have to admit, I did not bring my suit. How about you? No, I didn't today either. <laughs> well, let's continue to talk about the annual campaign. So what is the goal? Well, our goal this year is $1.4 million. And how much time are you giving to raise that money? You know, we're going to do that during the month of February. We'll have our victory celebration the last week of the month. That's incredible. And it is about social responsibility, isn't it? So tell us what that means for the Y. Well, for the Y, we define social responsibility as uh, helping your neighbor. And if someone would like to go to our website, it's www.dmymca.org. Okay. And they will find a, a button on there that will uh, help them identify volunteer opportunities that will allow them to get involved and help others in the community. And with the annual campaign, if somebody wants to donate, what's the easiest way for them to do that? The easiest way, if you'd like to give, they can always go to our website and give through our website. Perfect. And your facilities are so incredible. If someone wants to become a member, what should they do? Well, you know, they can always go to our website, but there's nothing like uh, dropping in one of our branches and seeing Get it for tour. yourself. Yep. And so we have 11 branches across the metro area and people can, can come by anytime. Sounds great. Well, thanks so much, Vernon. Thank you. She gave back the ring. Max Jury's music is sexy and soulful. It has so much depth, and you're only 21. What's your history with music? Um, I started writing songs when I was 13 wow. years old, and I, I studied music in college. Some of my favorite bands and artists are, I like the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Um, I like a lot of country music, old country music, like Hank Williams and Lefty Frizzell. Um, I'm really into songs. That's my thing. And so I like Neil Young and Graham Parsons and Paul Simon and Bob Dylan, just great, great songwriters. How would you describe your music? Um, it's kind of um, a little country, um, a little pop in some places. It's, it's kind of just um, a, 
you know, a combination of all my influences. So what do you love about, about being a musician? Mm -hmm. I love traveling, not having to have a day job, um, meeting new people, playing with other great musicians. What do you hope to accomplish with your music? What do I hope to accomplish? That's a tough one, huh? Um, <laughs> world peace. No. Um, what do you want the audience or the listeners to feel when they get done? I have never really thought about that. Um, but I, I suppose I just want them to feel something, you know, mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, music has meant so much to me over the years sure. that I'm just trying to pay it forward, kind of. Absolutely. And the best piece of advice you've ever been given? The best piece of advice I've ever been given, play the kind of music that you want to hear. Sure. You know, don't try to fit into any mold mm -hmm. or copy anybody. There's so many good bands, mm -hmm. and it's, it's actually frightening to try to make it or yes. to try to go for it because everybody's doing it. A lot of people are doing it and everybody's really talented. It, and if you're true to who you are though, mm -hmm. that makes a huge difference. I think it does too, absolutely. All right, Max, I know that you travel all around the United mm -hmm. States. You go to London, you're gonna be in New York a ton, but if people wanna learn more about you, where should they go? Sure, I have a Facebook page. Nice. Um, Max Jury. You I accept have, everyone? I accept everyone. Okay. All, <laughs> all creeds, colors. Got it. Um, and I have an Instagram, okay. Maxwell Jury, and I have a Twitter. And my Twitter handle or whatever is at Jax Murray. Just flip the first letter down oh, a little bit. So. Very cool. Yep. All right, will you take us out and All play right, a piece? Absolutely. Thanks, Max. Yep, thank you. <laughs> online at dsmliving.com to watch this week's episode, see other videos, and check out what's coming up on future shows. Hi, I'm Ron the Car Guy from Westside Auto Pros. Here's your trivia question of the week. Stay tuned for the answer when we come back. No one in Iowa has more fellowship-trained orthopedic specialists than Iowa Ortho. With specialists in seven areas of expertise, no matter what your aches and pains, Iowa Ortho is ready to help. With services such as MRI, physical therapy, and post-surgical support combined with 17 locations in central Iowa and a walk-in clinic with urgent care for every member of the family, it's no wonder that Iowa Ortho is considered the expert for orthopedic care in Iowa. For the best health care, ask for Iowa Ortho. Visit us at iowaortho.com. American Link, your source for coast-to-coast -coast inspiration, anytime, any place, with just one device. Discover a new generation of American-made businesses that commit to creating their products nationally from start to finish. Staying connected with the latest trends in home, fashion, and travel is easier than ever. American Link, bringing American-made home. Download it from the App Store and subscribe today. 
Sometimes the difference between just buying new things in a beautiful home is a design plan, a signature piece, and a couple of small accents. At the mansion, we know you have good taste, but probably not the time or desire to execute your own vision. Our design team is waiting to help you transform your ideas into a beautiful and functional home. Whether it's one room or the whole house, we can work with your budget and exceed your expectations. Come see us on Facebook and see what our clients have to say about working with our design team. Or better yet, stop by the mansion and let us show you how we can help. The correct answer is A. Have car questions that need answers? Call Westside Auto Pros at 225-9090. Rick, it's so nice to be here at Fidelity Bank again, and I understand that Fidelity Bank is the largest construction lender of new homes in the metro area, and you are the senior vice president of that department. So does that mean you meet with everybody? I meet with everybody that's going to build a house. I want to look at the ground. I want to look at the plans. I want to look at the appraisal to make sure it's a good value for them. After I meet with them, I explain to them how we watch the job from beginning to end, inspect the prices and the quality of work. And I know you are super excited about another product here at Fidelity Bank, the 3R Home Loan. So if you had to simplify this loan for us, what would you say it's all about? It's all about making the new home at the whole city, not just on raw ground. It's a new home at the old house. Okay. That's what it's all about. The 3R Home Loan helps people to remodel their home renew their home and refresh their home at the same address, and then incorporate that cost inside their mortgage. So instead of having a $300 or $400 or $500 increase in payment, it might be $40, $50 or $60 increase in payment and get the new house they wanted. Not have to move, not have to leave the neighborhood, not have to change schools, and not have to pay real estate commission twice. There's four different wonderful programs for it. One is for a realtor not being able to sell a house because the client's not updated it. This gives the, the client, the new buyer, the opportunity to update their home before they buy it and have it all in their loan without a large down payment and stay in the area they want to. So they can actually look for neighborhoods and house sizes and then make it the house inside they want. And how does this loan work with contractors? Well, the contractors need to be licensed and approved. And if it's a large project that's complicated, then we have consultants that are recommended and approved by the government to make sure that the job's being done right. Example, if you've got, green mold in your basement. God if, forbid. <laughs> uh, it is a real problem. If you have asbestos on your walls or you have lead paint, you need someone to protect you. So that program is done for you by the consultant. So then they help you through the process. Rick, the three-hour home loan sounds fantastic at Fidelity Bank, but it, I mean, is there any secret part of this program that people don't know about? There is an aspect of it that only investors know about and they try to use it for their own aid and they go come to me to get money for a different program and then make the profit before the end user, the homeowner gets it. And it's short sales or foreclosures that you can't move into because of things that have been done to the house, sure. but are tremendous buys. Yes. So what this program does, because you have a consultant making sure it works, can put the number of what your house is gonna cost to make it like you want. In some cases you can save 50, $60,000 on your investment, as long as you're going to live in it. It's called a mini build program through my foreclosure and short sale. Well, the three are home loan. It's refresh, renew, and remodel. So if people are interested in this, what's the best way they can reach you? Well, they need to give us a call or go to the website of the Rick Davis team, Rick Davis Loans at Fidelity Bank. I think this is a great product for many people and I know you're gonna get a lot of interest. Fidelity Bank and Rick Davis, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind the scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. We're in the beautiful Waterbury area and this home has been remodeled a couple of times by Kaufman Construction, but also the landscaping was taken over by Kaufman Construction, so that's worth noting. We're on a front porch. There are two entrances to the home, one to the main area of the home and this one to the kitchen the remodeled kitchen. Hi Sharon. Hi Sheila, so nice to meet you. Welcome to my home. Okay, great. Sheila, this is a wonderful space. Tell me a little bit about what it was, how the space functioned before and how it functions for you now. There was nothing here Sharon. Uh, this wall over here replicates what was over here. We had our table in the middle with a hanging lamp. What we ended up with was this. It is a command center. And then if I'm entertaining, there's that opportunity to put glasses out yeah. and have this be a uh, bar, if you will. Yeah. You'll notice the 
handles kind of got that little bit of glitz. It's wonderful glitz. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We want a little bit of glitz, but we need functionality too. So let's talk about this oversized island. All right, Sharon, just look around. <laughs> does this just not put a smile on your face? It does. I mean, I have absolutely everything I want. And you cook. So I cook, I bake, and I have this outstanding island. It's just grand. It sounds it's just like grand. you're glad you did this. I am. Now, tell me about Coffin Construction. You know, Sharon, <laughs> this isn't the first time we've been to this dance. That's right. So, mm -hmm. they remodeled your master bathroom. They remodeled bath. our bathroom, and that was beautiful, and we were very, very pleased. So, when we sat down, I really, really felt that when Devin brought me a plan, I could say, nope, that's mm -hmm. not it. Start all over again. Mm -hmm. And basically, that was it. And they packed up and they left. And then they came back, and then they had something that was, okay, now we're getting more to it. So then when we had the final plans, it was so easy then to go out and buy the product. You'll see this pot filler. I would never have thought, thought of this, but this was Devin's idea. This is the most wonderful thing. Okay. I mean, absolutely, absolutely divine. What do you tell your friends when they ask, hey, what about coffin construction? communication, uh, accountability, and he definitely gives you what he says he will give you. Devin, you have just received high praise from Sheila, the homeowner, but she admitted that it takes a few times with the design process to get it right. Tell us a little bit about what went into that. Well, it is all about getting it right, so we make sure we don't rush people through the process. You have the time to make the right decisions and do it right the first time. Communication is the most important part of, you know, many things in life, but definitely in a remodeling project. Um, you're working in somebody's house, disrupting their life, so you have to be available day and night to answer their questions and, and let them know that their uh, concerns are important to you. Okay. Now, Devin, how can people learn more about Kaufman Construction Design Build? They can certainly visit our website at kaufmanconstruction.com. Okay. Thanks very much. Thank you. You hear that clunking, that fogging, that it just doesn't seem right sound. Well, you might need a new furnace. So we are here at the Home Depot with expert Bob Oliver of Bob Oliver Heating and Air. Bob, can you tell us about this whole process of, of getting a furnace here at the Home Depot? Yeah, it's just as easy when you're out shopping at the Home Depot. We have a good selection of heating and cooling here. And it's as easy as just coming into the store we actually have a 1-800 number Home Depot, or you can get online and process a lead. What are the benefits of getting these things at the Home Depot? Well, the benefits is you really get a lot of consumer financing that you can't get anywhere else, and they're more compliant than a lot of heating companies that are out there to be competing with. Bob, tell me about your relationship with the Home Depot. Well, here at Bob Oliver, we actually partner up with the Home Depot to make sure every install is done perfect for every customer. You'll actually come in the store, you'll get a lead number, and then they'll actually have us call you or any customer, and then we'll actually size up the equipment. We'll ask a lot about the things that are important in your home, and then we'll get it installed. And then the benefits are the financing here. They have the best financing out. There's a lot of good deals and rebates going on, especially here at the Urbandale store. They're offering a $50 gift card for every uh, time we come out and we just do an estimate for it. It just seems like it's just way too easy. So I need a new furnace or I hear something going on. I come out to the Home Depot, I tell them at the service counter, and then they have you guys call me. That's exactly right. <laughs> yep. That's pretty easy. It is easy. And then we all actually go through the Design Star system to show how we size the equipment okay. and how we go through and make it very economical. So you can see all the money you're saving in your total investment. So we're going to put in the address and then actually we can pull a satellite right over the home. We can see and make sure this is our home, show which facing area it has for the north, south, west. We can actually go through and see a graph on here and then pull in the house's information. We can make sure we have the right square footage that the assessor has. Then we're going to get into what we're looking for. Are we looking for an air conditioner? It could be a heat pump. We could even get into a boiler. Then we're gonna take the type of equipment the person has in their home already that's being replaced so we can find out an efficiency level that we've come from and where we're going to. Once we've had our equipment picked out, then we can come back over and print out a PDF 
of how much money we're going to save. So now our customer can know that they're saving that much money. Then we can get in and find out, well, what's the system cost? What kind of repairs would have been put towards that? And what kind of tax credits, rebates, or manufacturer's incentives are there to attribute towards the upfront cost? Once we get that, then we know the net system investment. And it really shows you that you're saving money even though you're paying for something. Once we've got all that, we can deliver that to our customer and then we're able to make a good decision with them. They can sit down and see all the facts that they needed to know to be able to make a good decision in today's economic world. So it will talk about what the best furnace is for my house. Correct. Sounds good. Well, Bob, if people want to get a hold of you, how can they contact you directly? They can contact us at BobOliverHeatingAndAir.com at 277-1696 or just look up your own Home Depot store nearest to your home. You can go on the net or go on the phone. You guys have just made it so simple. Thanks for that. All right. <laughs> Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind the scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. There are a lot of busy people out there, so this DIY is right up your alley. It is quick, but it looks magnificent when you have it done. You just need a few things. Pick out a vase, and if you have one with divots, it gives it more of an interesting look. Make sure you get a roll from a paper towel, some spray paint. I like to use either gold or silver, and today we have gold, and some greeneries. All right, the trick with this is to make sure you shake the spray paint for a couple minutes to get it good and blended. And then you need to go outside to a well-ventilated area. The thing with the paper towel roll is to hold it so you don't get spray paint all over your hand. You can wear a glove too if you want to, but you should be able to spray this pretty well. And go to the well-ventilated area, go ahead and spray it all over, give it a nice even coat. And then you can bring it in and set it down on a paper towel or something to let it dry. Usually spray paint will dry in about 15 minutes, but you can start to handle it in about an hour. So once it's dry, you can then put the greenery in it like we did here. And it's a perfect, really kind of elegant look that can fit into your office or your living room, maybe even your bathroom. So you can put either flowers beside it, picture frames. It's a great look and it's also a great gift. If you want to check out any of our other DIY projects, you can go to dsmliving.com or look at our Facebook page and let us know if you have any suggestions. That's our show for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to join the conversation on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. I'm Melanie Hall. Have a great rest of the weekend. Host Apparel by Francesca's, located in Jordan Creek Mall in West Des Moines. Follow DSM Living on Facebook and Twitter to see behind the scenes photos and find out what events are going on in and around Des Moines. If you want to see your company or event on DSM Living, head over to our website and fill out a simple form or shoot us an email to info at dsmliving.com. <laughs> this is how I like to do my workouts. <laughs> Hello, you bet. You can even take them in with you. Sounds great. Thanks, Leanne. You're welcome. <laughs> Darn it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll just wait for my note after that. YouTube channel. I'm Melanie Hall. Have a great rest of the weekend, and I'm going to take you out. A little for Elise. Whoa. Whoa. I think the piano is a little out of tune, maybe. <laughs>